Tonight we are learning more about those injured in yesterday's school shooting at Rigby Middle School. That's where a sixth grade girl pulled a handgun out of her bag and began firing. Today a group of teenage boys and their mothers spoke about the shooting while practicing for a baseball game. One of the mothers gave us an update on the 11 year old girl who was shot. She's recovering. She um, was shot in the arm and um, broke her humerus. And um, they were concerned about um, her arm and if they would be able to save it. But it sounds like they have been able to, which is really great. We also talked to a student who was in the office at the time and heard the three shots. The girl, she was running down one of the halls and turned a corner. And then, then we heard a loud, like another loud bang. And then after that, uh, they just put us in the room so I couldn't really see anything else. Parents say the custodian, Jim Wilson, and teacher, Krista Knighting, are heroes for bravely stopping the girl. But specifically the teacher and the custodian, uh, from what I heard, it, this situation happened in the hall hallway and that custodian put himself in front uh, so that bullets would not hit ch other children. Wow. The eighth grade math teacher who disarmed the shooter and held her down until police arrived released a statement on Facebook thanking everyone for their support. Knighting said my heart is touched by all the incredible outpouring of love I've received. Thank you. I don't want money. I just appreciate the incredible support of Rigby. I love my students so much. It is why I teach. As the Rigby community continues to deal with the shock of the shooting, the Jefferson School District announced today classes for the whole district will be canceled again on Monday with students returning on Tuesday. Now concerned parents are wondering how to talk to their kids about the shooting. We talked with an expert on how to do just that. Counselors at American Health in Idaho Falls say how much you tell your kids depends on their age. They tell us kids younger than eight probably don't need to know about it unless it directly impacted them or a family member. But teens can have more in-depth conversations. Experts also caution that shock could last a couple of days and some signs may not start until then. Anytime uh, somebody has traumatic things happen, I think it's great to just be aware of isolating behaviors. Uh, certainly with, with children and teenagers, that also may look like anger and frustration. And uh, so those depressive symptoms um, are important to, uh, to be aware of. Weiniger also says it's just as important for adults to make sure they're taking care of themselves. He also encourages people to call their 24-hour crisis line at 208-523-HELP. That's 4357.